oats being rented out to eat overgrown landscaping. NBC Charlotte's Evan West found a local farm who specializes in goat rentals. 31 goats, five dogs, one of them being humongous and a host of other animals call Wish We Had Acres Farm their home. But for a small fee, these goats can come and treat your yard like a salad. They buy, bleat, and eat. I mean, it's a wonderful way to manage the, the landscape. When David Hamilton and Laura Denez bought their first goat, they didn't plan on starting a farm family, <laughs> but they soon fell in love, <laughs> and the animals kept coming to their farm in Charlotte. We got a full house, that's for sure. The couple has always been resourceful with the goats, making soap, milking them, you name it. And when someone liked the idea of an eco-friendly and friendly lawnmower, David delivered. You know, people have rented the goats uh, to clean up their yards or, you know, a, an empty lot that they don't want to deal with poison ivy. The idea of renting goats has taken off online. It's $200 for the initial site check. And then from there, David and Laura determine how long the goats need to stay and how much grass they need to eat. The goats have been kind of a soapbox for us in kind of getting into the community. And then goat yoga was born. Seeing people's eyes light up when they get to hold a little one or one when, when a goat falls asleep on their mat. You can see people just relax into it. These guys might make great companions, even better lawn mowers, but if you own a camera, you got to be careful, as I've learned, because they'll eat that too. <laughs> In Charlotte, I'm Evan West for NBC Charlotte. Right on cue. <laughs> My girlfriend did that with her lawn and loved it. Really? Yeah, not the yoga.